Morning YouTube. It is Darth Cobain 17 back again after another Leafs game. And uh, yeah, unfortunately they, they put up another loss last night. Uh, they were at home to the Dallas Stars. But it was one of those games that teams seem to need to have before they break out of a slump. Um, differences to the lineup last night, there wasn't any on the forward lines, but the defensive pairings, they took both Marincin and, and Oziganov out and put in Dermot and Justin Hull, which was his first game of the season. And uh, I thought they both played very well. Um, but getting back to what I was saying, um, they they were by far the better team last night. Um, grossly outshot the Stars, out-hustled them, um, had a number of grade-A opportunities where the puck just didn't go in or it rolled off a stick or whatever, but they the hustle was there, the effort was there, the chances were there, and uh, they were the better team. Um, so teams always seem to need to have a game like that before they break out of a slump where they haven't been playing well, the effort hasn't been there, the bounces haven't been there, the results haven't been there. This is one of those games where maybe you should have won, but you didn't, uh, but you feel good about it because you know you played hard, you were the better team, you just didn't get what what you the the result you deserved, and that always seems to to pre <coughs> precipitate getting back in the win column and getting back on track. So, although last night ended up in a loss, I'm considering it one of those kind of moral victories or whatever um, that I think is going to help turn this kind of skit around. Um, uh, Freddie was pretty good. He he didn't really you know the, of the two goals they scored. I forget what the second one looked like already. <laughs> I am 42, um, but the first one was the you know a, a tip right in front of the net. Nothing he could do about that other than have it luckily hit him or not, and which it didn't. Um, and uh, the rest of the Leafs were um, of the big guns. Marner was by far the best Leaf. Um, he was all over the place, got a ton of chances himself, as well as set up a bunch of others. They just didn't go in for him. Uh, Tavares was also pretty good. Um, but most of the best performances I found came from the bottom two lines. Um, I thought Andreas Janssen, after kind of having a really invisible start to the season and he was in and out of the lineup, he had his best game by far. Um, Fred Freddy Goche, he continues to be consistent and solid. I really like him in the lineup. Lebo was really good. Um, I thought Ennis probably had one of his best efforts of the season. Um, and then the one Leaf goal was, was scored by Marlowe, who, who has been a little bit snake-bitten to start the season, um, <clears throat> with that being his second goal of the year. Um, yeah, so it was one of those games that, you know, okay, they didn't win, but, you know, I'm not going to read too much into it, and I feel good about it. Um, and, uh, yeah, so that was pretty much it. I think... Um, They've got another uh, good test on Saturday coming up against the Penguins, who they they lost to in a game much like this one where they maybe deserved a better fate, but that was the game that kind of opened the floodgates on this recent slump. So it would nice it would be nice for them to to get back in the win column on Saturday and maybe exact a bit of revenge against the Penguins. <laughs> um, and uh, another side note, um, this is the first time in Leafs history that they haven't, what did they say? They've gone five games in a row now without scoring in the first two periods of a game, um, which which is pretty incredible, especially when you consider the talent they have in their lineup and how they were scoring goals at the start of the season. They were getting into 7-5 victories and 7-6 victories and 6-4. Like, it was crazy how, much, how many goals they were scoring. And I know that they're missing Matthews right now, but they still have a ton of talent. And... Uh, to consider that they haven't scored until the third period at all, if at all, in the last five games is pretty remarkable. So, um, But based on how they were throwing pucks at the net and, and, and skating and, and getting in there last night, I, I don't expect uh, on Saturday that, that this is a, a trend that's going to continue. So, um, But we will wait and see what awaits on Saturday night against the Penguins, and uh, hopefully uh, I have better news to report on Sunday morning. Have a good day.